Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around wood way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Now this is a story about the personal thrill that I've had learning how to use the bow drill. A handy dandy piece of primitive technology. Well it's really helpful when you don't have a match. You're trying to cook something that you just catched. And all you need to find is the right kind of dead tree. Well I heard it was simple and I heard it was cool. I heard it was the most amazing tool. My sleepy mind's eye could already see the flame. And just four parts is all you need to bring. A spindle board, hand hold, and a bow with a string. Watch out survivors, I'm getting into the game. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around wood way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray Well I heard that the board should be real flat So I carved and I scraped and I cussed and I spat My knife got dull and my senses followed suit And then I carved the handhold and I carved the spindle For my personal resources began to dwindle now I need a string, I think I'll use the lace from my boot. When it was finally time to try the thing, I wound it all together and all I heard was a bing. This is going to be a little harder than I thought at first. So I put it back together, I thought I'd go real slow, set to creating some glow from the flow. Pretty soon I discovered places I never knew you could hurt. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around wood way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. So I practiced and I practiced till my board got hot. My arm was getting stronger, but my string was not. Just about the time it broke, I thought I had had my fill. Well, I found another string and I gave it a fling. Pretty soon that contraption was starting to sing. I never thought a little puff of smoke could be such a thrill. I worked on my skill April, May, and June. With each new try, I learned to fine tune. A little part here and a little twist over there. Why'd I start this thing? I can hardly remember. Didn't think I'd get an ember for the 12th of December. My house is a mess and my pride is in disrepair. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around wood way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug when you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Well, then one day I heard this squeaking sound as my bow drill spindle twirled round and round. The dust began to pile and the smoke became quite thick. Well, my brow did furrow and I began to perspire. Could this be the solution to my fire desire? The witness right in front of me combusted from a stick. As I carefully halted my bowing action, breathing hard from my excessive muscular contractions, I lifted the spindle slowly away from the board. Much to my awe and surprise, thin stream of smoke continued to rise. It was a sign from the Creator that could not be ignored. Being careful not to breathe too hard in the direction of the infant flameling, I began to see the most amazing thing. It was a tiny, fragile, baby red-hot coal. Okay, screw that. Slowly, I cradled it in my bundle of tinder, a miniature fairy tale kingdom of safety, which would keep this tender bud of new life from becoming only a cinder. 
allowing its birth into the cold, harsh world it had come to warm. As I softly blew, it pulsed, brighter and brighter, the smoke rising, denser, thicker, higher, when suddenly, out of nowhere, like the cosmic, big banging, pyrotechnically explosioning miracle that it was, my bundle burst into a flashing ball of red, life-giving, purifying, roadkill cooking flame. Hallelujah! Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around wood way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug when you get in the dirt and begin to pray. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Well, right here, I'd like to tell you a little story. And it starts something like this. Once upon a time, I lived in the woods. And I really did. I lived in the woods. I worked at a summer camp. Well, it was more of a spring and a summer and a fall camp, and in the wintertime we just kind of laid low because it was pretty cold and the snow was pretty deep. But while I lived at this camp, I got interested in what you call them our primitive skills. Things like making fire without matches, boiling water with hot rocks, all sorts of interesting things. And this is the story of one of those primitive skills. And it goes something like this. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around the way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Now you may wonder what prayer has to do this with this whole thing of primitive skills. I'll tell you. I, I 